Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to correctly label a diagram of an animal cell. You should then be able to describe the functions of the different parts of an animal cell. Now before we start I should explain that we're going to be looking in much more detail at how cells work in later topics. So this is really an introduction to the parts of animal cells. I'm showing you here a picture of animal cells under a light microscope. These are human cancer cells. Now, as we said in previous videos, animals are eukaryotes. Their genetic material, in other words, their DNA, is enclosed in a nucleus. We can see the nucleus here. So the function of the nucleus is to enclose the genetic material. Now, I should point out that the nuclei of these cells have been stained blue. Normally, nuclei are not that colour. Inside the cell, we've got the cytoplasm. That's a watery solution where chemical reactions take place. And a good example of that is the first stage of respiration. The whole cell is enclosed in a cell membrane, and this controls the molecules that can enter and leave the cell. Now inside the cell we've got a number of smaller structures, and you need to know about two of them. These are the mitochondria and the ribosomes, so let's look at those now. Now we cannot see either mitochondria or ribosomes on this picture, and that's because they're too small. These cells have been stained with the red dye to show the mitochondria. Now the mitochondria are where aerobic respiration takes place and you do need to learn that. We're going to be looking at respiration in more detail in later videos. Ok, we're going to finish now by looking at ribosomes. Now ribosomes are extremely small so we can't see them using a light microscope. Instead, we need to use a much more powerful microscope called an electron microscope. So, this is an image using an electron microscope, and we can see two mitochondria. But if you look closely at these tiny flecks, these are ribosomes. Now ribosomes are the sites of protein synthesis. Proteins are really important and they carry out lots of functions in cells, for example enzymes. Now in the exam, you could be asked to identify structures from a diagram of a cell such as this one. So pause the video now and try to identify the structures in the diagram. OK, so we've got the nucleus, the cytoplasm, and the cell membrane. We've also got mitochondria, and finally ribosomes. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on the structure of animal cells in my Vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. OK, so hopefully now you should be able to correctly label a diagram of an animal cell. You should then be able to describe the functions of the different parts of an animal cell.